and that mobility tool in Instapen, of course. An idea about why he's going, uh, sorry, he's going Mewtwo against Frozen and Dango Mewtwo against Numbers is because maybe Number uh, Frozen had the ability to play lame against Dill with Diddy Kong, and that once again, he, that's just a whole mental game. You you go on a player by player basis, not a character by character basis. Which yeah, that's is a, a really, smart decision. That's a really next level way to use your counter picks. You know, counter pick the player in particular, and when you have knowledge of other people, like you know, when you go to lots of tournaments, that's when you can utilize these next level strategies. Going in, trying to get an opening. No, they're definitely just trying to feel each other out, win this neutral. It's pretty even so far. Got a weird collision there with the dash attack and the claw dragging a uh, fang shot. Mewtwo having a pretty good air dodge. You're able to just avoid stuff and you don't know where he's going to go. Cause he disappears. You don't know if he's going for an up B either. You just never know. Let's see Mewtwo trying to find his way in. He shoots that shot. And oh. then he gets caught by the claw, the fang itself. Get a grab coming in from Frozen. He's got him at 98%. Let's see if he can close out the stock as he tries to approach him off the top. Frozen getting out of uh, harm's way. Uh, getting out of harm's way. He just dodge rolled, uh, rolled three times into that platform. I'm not sure what's going on there. I just give mad props to Frozen. That entire last 15 second engagement, really capitalizing off of one opening that Dill left him. Mm -hmm. And now Dill. Not he, does, he definitely doesn't want to give him any more openings because we saw what happened you get, when you get frozen enough of an opening. Mm -hmm. As he's trying to just get in there, trying to break through his defenses yet again with a side B kick is going to close out that stock with a powerful kick of the Messiah coming in hot from Corin. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. That whiff grab from Dill uh, going to cost him in the stock. And uh, good use of using forward throw out of the grab for Dill because uh, up throw would not have killed. Now not that zero percent rage. Mm -hmm. If he had a little bit more rage, it would have killed. But he got a fresh stock, dude. You're down by quite a lot. He's trying to get him up to that percent where up throw will work. He's getting plenty of grabs. Just oh, got the sick down tilt and to bait out an attack into forward air. Great stuff coming from Dill. Not being phased whatsoever by losing the first stock. Yep, the adaptation is clear. He's not uh, kind of committing those same jump ins that he was the first stock. Now he's kind of, you know, fishing, uh, not fishing for opening, but he's forcing them. Yeah. Now we see Frozen, you know, just backing off a little bit, doing some more air dodges. He uses his, the long range of his tail, able to find an opening with that down tilt as he's trying to push Frozen off stage. What? This the man, Spike. This man trying to end this, this game right away. With that down air, I mean, if you got, if you see an opening, why not go for it? If you have the ability to get back onto the stage safely, go for it, dude. Wow, yeah, he did a turnaround down tilt. I guess he expected Frozen to land on his right side. Or land and roll, as people often do. Yeah, Frozen's going to punish that risky dash attack. Shield grabs a da man's best friend against dash attacks. <laughs> yeah. Take notes, guys. Yeah, especially both of these characters. Dash attacks, he just took that point blank. Wow. You know, Frozen's off stage, so he can get back on the stage. He manages to, but it doesn't matter. Dill with the immaculate wow. offstage pressure, going for the forward air kill off the stage. Good stuff to him, bringing that back, not being phased by that opening statement coming from Frozen. Yeah, and especially good reaction on the pin. Pin, uh, uh, excuse me, Dragon Lunge, so often used trying to get back onto stage, uh, trying to offensively force your opponent off the ledge. Power shields, forward air. Very smart stuff. Now we see them conversing. Uh, Frozen's probably thinking about what stage he wants to go to, or Dill's thinking about what stage he wants to counter pick. We see some laughter. They probably picked a typical stage. Who knows? They're having a good time. Yeah, they're, they're, they're friends. I can know? see Battlefield being a choice, uh, given that it benefits the both of them. Um, we haven't seen very much stage diversity up until now. Lilac Cruise. Yeah, mostly Smashville and Smashville and Battlefield, dude. All day, every day. I'm surprised we don't see more town, cause like that's the real New York City stage. Or that's the House of Thousand stage, town and city. Oh yeah. We haven't seen that too often here today. Yeah, we saw FD twice in a uh, Sinji V to Buzz. Um, and no town. Uh, I think we might not be going to Lilat, or we're going to Lilat and there's gonna be a character switch. I'm seeing him hovering over Villager. What is this? I don't know about it. I don't know. Okay, he's going back to Mewtwo. Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable on that like Cruz's Mewtwo, but he's like, eh, whatever, I got down tilt, it's fine. <laughs> Let's go. Down tilt, it's <laughs> such a good move. This spaces it out, it's such a long hitbox, disjointed as well. Combos into all of Mewtwo's bread and butters. Mm -hmm. See Frozen just catching Dill with, with him falling down with that up tilt. Trying to get some action here going. All right, a little bit of ledge play. He's got him off stage. 
as Frozen trying to get some neutral air action going here. He goes for the F smash, not being able to take Frozen off stage. The ones they're just kind of trying to feel each other out. Now, what, what are your thoughts on the stage uh, for uh, Dill? For Mewtwo. Uh, for Mewtwo, I think it's a pretty good stage, um, but not for the reasons that Dill has been ex uh, demonstrating. You know, Mewtwo's Nair is, uh, I think, Dill not using it as much as he could have, um, given how long it lasts, how good it is at comboing into other things, dragging them around. And I think Nair makes, is one of the reasons that the stage is so good for Mewtwo. Yeah. Um, have you seen Dill use Nair very much at all? Uh, not much, but now he's, as you, as you say that, <laughs> I don't know if he heard you, dude, because the man is starting to spam a little bit of neutral air. Maybe he's trying to see the cap, he's trying to capitalize on the stage, like I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can often happen. After a minute of playing, you're still in that last game mode. Oh. oh. You see Dill trying to go for that down air spike on Frozen, but the Dragon Ascent was able to catch him. He's going for those down airs quite a lot. Trying to get cheeky little kill, but he's trying to show that he's not afraid. He's like, I will challenge you off stage, and you have to respect my downer. No fear. See a lot of empty short hops coming from Frozen, trying to bait out an action from Dill, but Dill doesn't fall for his ploy. We see Dill trying to get this up air action going on him, but he just gets the simple grab, up throw, hits him on the screen. Dill, Frozen, once again, taking first stock. <laughs> Yeah, and a pretty good lead from Frozen. He's not really in danger of much yet outside of getting fair. That was such oh. a, almost the greatest thing I saw. Like, he caught him with that down tilt, and then he just wanted that down air, but then Frozen was not giving it to him as Frozen trying to get back on the stage, trying to find a little bit of stage control, challenges the sh sh uh, Shadow Ball charge with a Dragon and Lunge. there we go. He just goes up, throws the Shadow Claw right in his face, taking out that second, the first stock, and we're back to a one stock pretty even match. That was a really nice string. Uh, the low charge Shadow Ball into the offstage fair. Yeah, and as we just saw, there was just spot dodge, spot dodge, spot dodge war happening here. <laughs> Mind Definitely. games. Yeah, All that was plan. such a there sick we setup. We got that neutral air into down tilt and some more damage. Like, that was a great conversion coming from Dill. As Frozen just trying to find a little bit of an opening with that Dragon Lunge. You know he wants it. Yeah, I definitely want to see Dill make use of the neutral air. Try to get more conversions off of it, but... Did that Dragon Lunge just go through the platform? That went so far. That went disgustingly far. <laughs> like, I know it does that, but it still catches me off guard every single time. Yeah, Blylat shenanigans. Not sure if that dash attack was intentional, but it's okay because Frozen just ran right back around and got a grab on Dill. Okay, I, yep, I can smell that insta pin. It's coming out from Frozen. He wants it. It's definitely what he's thinking right now. Everyone seems to assert stage control, get a lot of good damage, possibly get Dill off stage. You know what Dill's thinking? Dill's thinking, I want to grab. Mm -hmm. I want to grab on the top platform. But oh. then, you know what? It doesn't matter because Frozen's going to catch that air dodge, do that up air, and he's going to take Lilac Cruise away from Frozen's grasp. Or here Dill's grasp. Yeah, here we go. Back. To, uh, now we're going to game three. One of the, um, the few game threes that we've had in a best of three this set. Is the, this is the first game three we've had on stream since we jumped on commentary, wasn't it, Devin? He doesn't know. Devin's not paying attention. Why do, why do I even ask this man stuff? Yeah. He's not watching. Yeah. One of these days, Devin's going to have a mic, so he'll be able to talk to us. So I feel like it doesn't feel like a one-sided like little war here of me just like bashing on Devin all the time. It's yeah. coming, he says. Stay tuned, folks. Yep, if you subscribe. Try cast confirm. Yeah, no. Tell us. Tell us. If you subscribe to House of 3000, then Devin can afford mics so we can communicate and bring a better stream experience for you all. Don't you want to hear Devin's voice? I sure do. I already <laughs> do. It doesn't matter. I can hear him. But now we got the Diddy counter pick coming from Dill. He's like, you know what? We're going to go to Smashville. And because we're going to Smashville, I'm busting out the Diddy. Because Diddy thrives very well on Smashville. And this is what you were talking about earlier with counter picks. Uh, bring it out that last game. Trying to maybe throw a screwball at your opponent that they're not ready for. Like right when Frozen starts to adapt to the Mewtwo, it was all in vain because now he's got the Diddy Kong. It's like the second boss, you know? And it's a completely different matchup. Instead, Diddy Kong is going to be looking for punishes, of, you know, down tilt, grabs, banana openings. It's a completely different mindset and set of skills that you have to exhibit. And we got that monkey flip coming in hot from Dill, catching him at holding a shield. All right, just goes for the monkey kick instead out of the flip, hitting him out of the side B, not, not showing any respect to that move. <laughs> that was a weird bounce. Yeah, I think... Uh, the game didn't really know what to do when uh, just put uh, Diddy's forward air against the spike hitbox of the down air. Yeah, just you right. Booped them apart. <laughs> now we see Frozen. He's got a little bit of stage control here as Dill just comes in pretty quick on back, right back onto the stage. He reads the air do spot dodge, 
Gets the down tilt into forward air conversion, pushing him off stage. Let's see if he can get a follow up kill. You know Dill's going to be looking for that down tilt into up smash or a banana peel into up smash. That's the thing. That's the number one thing on Dill's mind because he wants a kill. He got a grab. And kill. now Korn's off stage. One of their weak, uh, Korn's weakest positions. Can't really react as much as they want to. She frozen, jumping over that banana peel, but he jumped right into Dill's range. If he would have <laughs> rolled to the right, that would have been his death, but it did not even matter because Dill still had all options covered. Running yep. and getting the grab forward, throwing him to his death. Yep, and 170% uh, forward throw, decent kill throw. Not the best, but it'll get the job done. Along with back throw. I see the pitter patter of both these characters just kind of running around, uh, rolling to, before they get that hit. We see that r pretty risky counter surge coming from Frozen. I mean, now he's look at all this damage he's eating because of one counter. Because of one counter surge, he ra racked up probably like 40, 50 damage. But if he would have landed it, that would have been still stock possibly. Yeah, it's the mark of um, you know a little bit of next level thinking. Is if you can take an inch from your opponent, get a mile. It's about a gamble. It's it's all gambling, you know. Oh, he spot dodged the actual pin hitbox, but <laughs> didn't hit matter, dude. Yeah, the kick came in pretty hot. Wow. Ooh. Holding shield, no fear. Dill is overlapping this man. Frozen seeing a dangerous 114%. He needs to close out Dill stock right here, right now. Let's see what he can do. He goes for the side B, he gets the pin, he gets the kick, and he gets the goal. And that was the answer he needed, just like you were saying. He needed to find some way to take out that stock and side B turned out to be the answer. And now he needs to play a little bit safe here as he's sitting at death's door. If Dill finds one opening, the down tilt, but he's not letting Dill touch the ground whatsoever. Great use of spacing with that back air though, getting out of harm's grab ranges, out of the grab range from Frozen, going for the spot dodge instead. All right, banana dash tag. Could have gotten a little bit more, but you know, damage is damage. Mm -hmm. Damage is damage, especially when you have this much range, you, you don't have to deal as much damage. And now, even Dill's gonna have to start respecting Frozen a little bit here because he's sitting at max rage. Like, for instance, a counter surge could spell defeat for Dill. Yeah, it has banana in hand. He's looking for something. I think he wanted banana to fair, but not gonna work out. This could be deadly. Forward throw, there, there we go. There it is. Just a simple forward throw for both kills coming from Dill. Dill's gonna move on to Loser's Finals to challenge Sinji's Pac Man. But good stuff. To Frozen, making it all the